Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Finally got around over the weekend to seeing the new vacation film, and that got me thinking about vacations in general. I'm not particularly good at vacations, uh, especially not going on vacation myself. I, I spent a lot of years uh, working at places that had odd schedules, you know, like newspapers where everyone was pretty much a workaholic. So it was about a year and a half before I realized I hadn't taken a day off uh, and not that I really had anywhere to go uh, at that point that would be considered a real vacation. Uh, it wasn't until I started going to Dragon Con that I really had any desire or need uh, to actually take time off. And that sort of lack of awareness of how much I'm actually working uh, has really cut into my vacation times over the years. Uh, also, uh, I'm not good at going places alone. I, so unless I have a person or five to go on vacation with, it doesn't really happen. I'll think about it, I'll research it, maybe I'll start to see if I can budget it. Usually I can't because money for vacations is another thing that's been an issue over the years. Uh, it's either been money or time that's been lacking uh, and, you know, all uh, wrapped up in the will, the lack of will to go anywhere alone. Uh, so I always look for adventure companions. Uh, I don't often find them because the people I know who do travel tend to travel big. Uh, going to Europe and uh, African safaris all over the place uh, with, you know, their own plans, their own uh, means, their own crew of people. So I watch a movie like uh, any of the uh, National Lampoon's vacation films, any of the numerous road trip movies that are out there, and I just watch them and long to be able to just go on my own and do these crazy things that happen in these movies. But I'm not a solo adventurer in real life. In, uh, in games, oh yeah, sure, I prefer my computer games to be single player uh, for, for my adventure games. But in the real world, in the real world, I prefer to interact with people. Now, I've done a couple of trips with people over the years. I, I, my first spring break trip in college was a, a very interesting trip to Disney World with my buddy Matt. Uh, one of my other spring break trips in college was uh, in a car with, with a handful of people I knew driving all around the uh, Northeast. Uh, that was interesting and exciting. It didn't help that our spring break in college fell in February. So we got snowed on a bit in northern New York and New Hampshire and uh, pretty much everywhere we went it was snowing. Uh, we didn't die. That was the good thing. We also didn't sleep much because we were too busy getting stuck in the snow driving. But we had fun. And that's the, uh, that's the sort of thing that I miss. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've been able to do something like that. Now, technically, I'm still in the middle of my last solo road trip. I've been in the middle of that road trip for uh, over a decade now. And that's because, well, I was doing it on my own. So that's a lot of long hours with just me and the radio in the car. And that doesn't excite me. Uh, plus, I don't have a car now. So that makes it a little trickier to complete a road trip. Uh, otherwise, it's just a really long hike. There were those spring break trips. Then there have been a few trips to Dragon Con uh, that have gone relatively well. Uh, some of them were bigger groups than others, but it was always a good time. Uh, I, again, was reminded regularly that when I'm on my own, I tend to remain on my own. I'm not fantastic at meeting people 
out at random places. I'm great at running into people I already know, uh, and that's kind of what I count on in most situations uh, where I do go out alone, is to run into people I already know and then meet new people through them. I'm not an exceptionally outgoing person when I'm on my own. Throw me in a group, all bets are off. But when I'm on my own, I tend to just hang back and observe. And eventually, I meet people. But road trips, I miss road trips. Uh, and I miss uh, the actual, I've never been on anything that would be a typical vacation. Um, so that's something that's on my list of things to do eventually. So my question to you is what's been your favorite vacation that you've gone on? Has it measured up to stuff uh, in movies or stories that other people tell? And what's the one vacation that you really, really want to go on uh, that you haven't yet? So tell me in the comments down below about your best vacation uh, and your, your dream vacation. Bonus points if you have pictures to share, because I love looking at people's vacation pictures, uh, mainly because I don't often go anywhere. So it's living vicariously through all of you. Uh, so do that down in the comments. Uh, if you like my ramblings on this stuff, uh, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you're subscribed, thanks a lot. I'm glad you like it. If you're not subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I put these things out. And um, if you know anyone else who has interesting stories about traveling or vacations or anything like that, share this with them so that they can get involved in the conversation. Uh, that's it for tonight. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.